Hello everyone, it's Adam here. So in my last video I did a successful breakdown of the TomTom Tom Bandit. This is the TomTom Tom Rider 400, it replaces the previous TomTom Tom Rider. It's a it's an entirely new unit and, uh, and and you look at the specs side by side with the original Rider. This is more rugged or it's, it's very rugged. Um, it's a bigger screen, it has live traffic, lifetime maps, beautiful color display, it obviously works with your gloves. So it's not. It's not a. It doesn't require that you use your the heat of your fingers for the touch screen. Has uh, safety cameras built in, uh, and it just it's just built like a tank. Uh, and the metal edges. And I've I've used a lot of the TomTom Tom, uh, personal navigation devices or PNDs in this uh, in this you know body style for the auto uh, drivers, and they're all really well made. And the UI is extremely fast. So. What you get with the rider is you get the support for um, uh, push to tap so you don't have to take your gloves off. You get support for um, routes that are uh, winding roads. So when you go to your destination, you can say, show me winding roads as opposed to straight lines or boring, you know, shortest trips. Uh, and then finally, you get an IPX7 rating of um, you know, weather resistance. So you can't submerge it in the ocean for 10, 20, 30 meters. But uh, if it's raining out, you'll still get by. And I believe there might also be a uh, coating on the screen that makes it a bit easier to see in the daylight, but I can't uh, confirm that. And obviously anything that you're used to, like the switching from day to night colors and that kind of stuff will work. Uh, it does have Bluetooth built in, so it will send um, commands to your communication system if you have one of those. The one thing you can't do this versus Garmin, which isn't as big of a deal for me, would be um, you can't download custom GPX files from like various motorcycle rider forums and then add them to um, to this unit before you leave your house. I don't think so. I think that's one thing people cited is the, the garment still lets you sort of add add things that uh, that aren't actually a part of the... I mean, at TomTom, Tom, just to let you guys know, I work at TomTom Tom and I work in the maps division, so you know, we're, we're, not, uh, we're not capturing all the trails in the world. We're focusing on um, on auto and pedestrian and, and uh, you know, work and all kinds of other products. So, um, if you want to take a, a snowmobile trail through northern Vermont and into Canada, uh, it's possible TomTom Tom won't have that on our map, but a lot of riders that have ridden those trails will log the GPX, log their breadcrumbs in a GPX file and share it with other riders, and that's what uh, supposedly the TomTom Tom does not do. But being a huge fan of the TomTom Tom UI and their experience and their user experience and their support, um, you know, beyond just working for them, I really love their products. So I'm, I'm really excited to use this. So uh, it looks like another feature I forgot to mention was they have round trip planning. So you can you know, not only set where you want to go, but say you also want to go home after you've arrived there, which is kind of nice. And it's probably a fancy uh, design update for uh, waypoints, but at the same time, it, it's geared towards people that want to go on a joyride and eventually come back home the same day. It also has um, pre pre trip planning on your computer. I think they call it, uh, they have a name for it actually. There's a name for it on the website, but I can't find it out. Let's get started with the unboxing. So we've got some plastic here to take off. And while I'm doing this, as I said in my last TomTom Tom video, um, well, I've owned a lot of P&Ds from TomTom Tom over the years before I worked there and of course after I worked there. Uh, we get a small discount, but we don't, um, at least I personally wasn't asked to buy one of these, wasn't paid to buy one of these, wasn't suggested to buy one of these. Um, I bought a motorcycle and immediately started looking at all the options and I just really like TomTom Tom devices. So, Okay, we've unboxed here. Nice packaging. You've got the plastic around. You've got a, a, you know, a first-hand look of here's your device. Um, get map and software updates at TomTom.com slash get started. We're going to pull this out with a little finger pull here like this. Uh, put this aside for a second. So we've got um, this really nice uh, screwed in metal sides here so you can hold. You've got these uh, grips in the back as well. So I assume uh, it charges through these two dots here. And these are the um, the mounting brackets for your RAM mount that I, I believe comes with it. You've got two speakers here. Maybe one's a microphone and one's a speaker. And like I said, it also supports Bluetooth. On the bottom here, uh, it's access to Here's a micro SD card that may come with it and need to be installed, or maybe you can add your own. That's interesting. And at the top, we have a power button. That's it. So let's pull this guy back. TomTom Tom logo. It's a 4.3 inch screen. Uh, it looks like it's 16 by 9. 
is the aspect ratio. All right, back to the box here. We're taking the plastic out. We've got our manual here and a nice ad in the back for our our TomTom -tom watches. So the Spark just came out, which is really cool. It's um, not only is it as a multi-sport watch, but it also has uh, onboard storage for um, music files, and then it comes with music as well from the factory. You can add your own. It works with Bluetooth headphones, so you can uh, jam out without having to have multiple devices on. You runners want to carry as little as possible, so you can work out while you uh, jam to your music. So pull back this flap. There's a little handle here, nice plastic handle, but it feels nice. I'll pull the box right out. That's actually way easier than having to kind of like push around the edges to uh, uh, to, to pull this out. So got this guy here. Oh, sounds like it's full of stuff. All right, let's uh, let's dive in here. This is going to be a stream of stuff that comes out. Pretty heavy too, I must say. All right, that's empty. Okay, so we've got our uh, I think it's SAE, SAE connector with the wiring here for your uh, for your motorcycle. We've also got a standard uh, USB micro USB connection with a. So this I would assume this is really what you're going to use to connect the the, the PND to your PC or Mac. Uh, this is the charging bracket. So yeah, SAE connection goes here. Uh, we've got our PND here, so does this just drop right on like that? No, let's do it this way. Aha! So you've got your release here at the top, then you've got your back here, and then you pull the release and you just slide it on. I guess you could just not pull the release and it clicks on. Ah, it does, but it's a little easier to pull the thing first. So, really solid. It doesn't pivot or rotate. Well, it does rotate. It does rotate, but it does not pivot, so you can go um, you know, portrait or, or landscape view. And the UI does automatically adjust, just like the iPhone or Android apps or the other PNDs do. And then on the back here, we've got four connections. The cable management's nice. You can kind of tuck it back this way, down into your charging or into your battery area. We've got uh, an included RAM mount with it, which I actually won't open yet, because anyone that has a motorcycle knows what's included here. But it will allow me to successfully bind the PND uh, to my handlebars and then of course power it. Uh, it does have Bluetooth like I said. It uh, has anti-theft built into it so it has a key that comes with it I believe. We may need to buy that separately. Yep, it has a key that comes with it so you can lock the RAM out so the PND can't be removed which is really nice. And then you could actually buy an additional pack uh, with a with the TomTom -tom charger and use it in your car, which is really cool. So I mean, really, if you want to buy this for your motorcycle and then use it on a car trip, you totally could. And then uh, it, one thing I will note before we continue, or if we wrap this up, is that um, it does have live traffic and it does have um, speed cams <clears throat> supported. But uh, I'm fairly sure that it uses the Bluetooth connection on your smartphone to um, to use the data on your smartphone. Uh, over Bluetooth to get that data off the internet. So if you want to ride with a, a dumb phone or a flip phone, I call it dumb phone, but not in a negative way, um, a non-smartphone or a feature phone, um, you will not have access to speed cameras or live or live traffic. Uh, you I, you might have access to what we call um, uh, you know, old old school traffic that kind of goes over the RF radio, but I don't know if it works for this or not. Uh, so I guess I was wrong. So it does support GPX files, and you load them uh, through the USB cable. So it made no mention of the SD cards. That might be something else for uh, for later. We'll figure out. So next video you'll see of this guy will be uh, mounting it to the motorcycle and taking it for a ride. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone.